Okay, so now that we are we have our water, let's try to add another layer of interest. And what I'm going to do now is zoom in on my little uh, friendly town of Bemidji up here. And let's add a new tile set. Let's add roads. So roads are lines. That makes sense. Zoom level. Um, so one thing I need to mention, which I didn't already, I apologize, is zoom levels work this way with web maps. Zero is the whole world. So like on Google Maps or on Mapbox, if you zoom out, you'll see the whole world. Sometimes you'll even see Greenland repeating itself if, you zoom, if your screen's big enough. 22 is as far in as you can zoom in. Basically, that's kind of the proverbial, you can almost read the newspaper in someone's backyard, zoom level. So the higher the number, the larger the scale, the smaller the number, the smaller the scale. Um, larger scale means more detail, less generalization. So this is asking, at what scale should we be showing the streets? I don't need them to be showing streets at scale zero. So why don't we say um, at scale eight, for example, you can start um, showing this layer. All right, let's hit create layer. And now, as you see, the water, the water layer is showing up as blue as we designed it. And now the roads are here. And if I zoom out far enough, there shouldn't be roads because, but once we get to eight, boom, the roads show up. So this is one way you can control generalization, the amount of information being shown on your map. And it's really a useful um, technique for doing so. All right, so Bemidji is also on an isthmus, just like good old Madison. Far fewer people up there. Let's style the roads a little bit. So the color of the roads, um, we can create patterns for the roads, etc. You can read about how to do that. But for now, let's go with a... I have this vision for this map, but we're going to have to tease it out, I think. Ooh, that's not a very cute vision. But we'll go with that right now. I'm thinking autumnal. The width is good. How do we want the roads to be rounded and capped? So do we want kind of round ends, solid ends? This is very much an illustrator thing. Um, how do you want the joints to look? Do you want them to be um, kind of curvier, more organic looking? I love organic, so that's what we're going for here. We can do a bunch of different stuff here. I, I'll let you guys play around with this. Dash arrays. Let's see what goes on. Two. Look at that. So now all our roads are dots. We could make a Pac-Man map if we wanted to. Wouldn't that be cool? Just have to add some ghost symbols. But you can really play around here. And you can just trash the whole idea. Um, gap width, blur. Um, you'll have to read the manual a little bit just to uh, figure out what everything does. But okay, there we go. We have roads. Let's add something else. One more, and then I'm going to show you guys how to find really cool, um, really cool colors. Hmm. Land use. This seems kind of cool. Let's do from zone or eight scale, and let's limit this to zone, you know, scale 16.4. Sure. All right. So we'd have to investigate the data set a little bit more, but it looks like land use overlays in full effect. Uh huh. I have a hunch what it is. Uh, so government land or forests, something like that. That's what all this uh, this black stuff is. You should probably generally know what you're mapping before you do it. I, I highly recommend that. But well, we definitely don't want that to be black because that's way too dominant. We probably don't want toxic green either. Let's just go with this for now. And voila. Okay, so I'm going to end this one here. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to find really cool color palettes that really kind of embody the style and aesthetic that you're looking for using Adobe Color. See you there.